after a rather rambunctious night full of chaos, <laughs> Kalia went into the barn and had an interesting episode with Squeaks' wolf. Having fixed the main issues from that, um, you guys have now parted ways and you are heading out into the city for a hopefully pleasant day of shopping, library visiting, whatever you wish to do. So, I'm gonna start picking on Squeak first, because why not? Squeak, what's you <laughs> up to? Uh, I think first thing I'm actually just gonna do is go up to my room and check on the Kenku, which is, I mm. think, what we had left on before. Alright. You head up to your room. She's still a little canatonic, and you can... And starting to look a little skinnier. Though it's hard to tell with all those feathers. Mm. Uh, I'm going to snap my fingers in front of her face real quick. You got fingers? See if I get <laughs> any reaction out of well, it. Well, his feathers. Yeah, there you go. That's what I was thinking. Can, can Kinku snap their feathers? Kinku's half hands. I thought they had feathers for hands. Nope, they have hands. Hmm. Learn something new every day. Start to try it. Learn something new every day. Oh, yep, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I just want to snap my fingers uh, in front of her face to see if I get any reaction at all. Okay, make a luck check. So just a d20. Okay, let's see. Oh, that's a five. <laughs> yeah, unresponsive. Uh, so I need to at least feed her. Um, I want to head oh, downstairs real quick and mm. ask for. Mm, oh, no. No, I, I, just, <laughs> no, anyways, <laughs> I'm, gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask <laughs> for a bowl of Give soup. yourself a second, let your laugh out, and then talk. <laughs> I want to ask the innkeeper for a bowl of soup. Small bowl of soup. Okay. If they've got any at the moment. Small bowl of soup, if you will. Um. Let's see. Um. It is starting to get close to lunchtime, so they are offering um. Uh, stock pot stew. Do you want that? Or do you want to try and find something a little bit more fancy? No, that's good enough for now. Okay. That will be four copper pieces. I thank the innkeeper and walk my way upstairs with the bowl of the stock pot. By the way, just for expedience sake, when it comes to basic food stuff, I'm going to charge everybody the basic price. You are welcome to try to roll to make it better if you want to, but you're already getting a decent price. Yeah. Mm. However, if you roll, I will not stand in the way of it hurting you if you try. Because <laughs> like a stock pot stew, four copper pieces is supposed to be the standard price, while three is the best, but... The high price is supposed to be eight copper pieces. Oh, gosh. So, some of the foods, it's probably not a good idea. Okay. <sighs> so, you grab the soup, you gently make your way up. One of the um, innkeeps, the, a female human, follows you up. And it's just like, after you're done feeding her, I'll take care of that if you want. <laughs> I nod and keep walking onto my room. 
Yep. Uh, okay, let's see. How do I do this? <laughs> I was going to remember, you did tell them about the situation last night, so. Yeah. Um, I had to try and pry her mouth open. <laughs> um, just for experience sake, let's make a medicine check to see how effective you are at taking care of a canatotic person. Okay, and oh, shit, wait. You do they have proficiency on both, or do I have proficiency on the poison? I forget. You, are, you should be poison starting today, so... Okay, have, so I you don't... Have lost your advantage. Yeah. Okay, so it's just a straight medicine check. But hey, if you want to make the... If you want to end this issue, it's, you have advantage on that now. Uh, uh, no, 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 <laughs> it's, no, it's it's fine. That's a four. That I failed. I cannot take care of my own kind. <laughs> After about 10 minutes of watching you try to put soup in this poor kinkoo now, the innkeeper gently puts her hand on your shoulder and is just like, give me the soup. And, the soup on and, with table the... and gently just pushes you out of the room. Oh, Come back wow. In a couple hours. And closes the door behind her, and you hear it lock. Uh, I like to imagine Crib is just sitting in the corner still. <laughs> I walk down the stairs I mean, with the Kriv, most shameful look you, ever. Crib, you also get shoved out. <laughs> Thank you for reminding me. <laughs> <laughs> may, may we know? No guys allowed. May we know how tall this innkeeper is? Because I want to see us. Yes. Uh. Make an insight check. Okay, okay. Also, I like to imagine uh, she pushes out Squeak and then sits down, starts 19. to help feed her, and then looks over and is like, how the fuck did you get there? Come on, <laughs> get out! I, I, Actually, I got a 19. Because I, I want to know. The, DM, the way it's going to happen is that she pushes Squeak out, Closes the door, locks it, turns around, and as she's turning around, she turns to uh, <laughs> to her right and ends up facing Crib, who is yeah. on their bed, <laughs> saying nothing. It's just like, "Your dude." Crib nods. Get out. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> I, I got a nineteen on my insight, so I want to know everything about this and <laughs> keep. <laughs> <laughs> they are five foot two. They weigh about a hundred and thirty-five pounds. They're a little light on the weight. They need to gain some weight. What's the social security number? <laughs> two five five nine eight seven. This is. Uh, it's it's funny to just imagine this little five two person pushing a goddamn dragonborn. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be willing to bet that Dragonborn, out of shock and amusement, is not resisting. Yeah. <laughs> Am I right, Abyssal? Yeah. <laughs> giggles. Okay. Mm, so what is what is Squeak up to now that your day of taking care of a Kenku is now gone? Um. Well, I feel like I should report it. At the same time, I should go and find the kid since I guess I'm I'm now fucking adopting a new kid um <laughs> I mean, <you> don't have <laughs> to. no 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 I, I prefer I prefer having the kid saved it to have the kid with some on uh, a fucking orphan or some shit uh, that, that would probably be the place to try and find the local orphanage yeah true okay so um, let's see. I want to go back down to the cart. Okay, you're back down to the cart. Uh, should I... Give you a small yip as you enter the room, kind of acknowledgement. I, I'm tempted to bring the wolf with me. You want to take a giant winter wolf through town. It's my... It's fine. It's fine. It's a pet. <laughs> I can be like, yeah, pet it. It's okay. <laughs> be prepared go, for a lot of persuasion checks. <laughs> <laughs> let me let me check. Let me check real quick, really. Let me you see. Uh, it's it's a plus four. I'm not kind of ready, but at the same time, I think. I... <laughs> Squeak, on top of that, you 
I also have to try to uh, convince the uh, the wolf itself not to attack uh, and like the little girl. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, what if a little- if kids start running up to the wolf? <laughs> Fucking one bite. <laughs> hey, you don't have to worry about okay, okay, no, no, no. today. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, 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 I'll use spring the fox with me. Um, so I- I wrapped the- wolf only trust three people. And only one of them are, is a cave crawler. The other two are the freaking landlords who've been feeding it. Yeah. <laughs> Um, um, I gave the wolf a pet, and I and I put the fox on my on my neck, like always. Animal handling check, please. Okay, where is it? I'm blind. Here it is. Let's see. Oh my god, that's horrible. That's a five. <laughs> Why are my rolls so bad today for the things I won? The wolf is not getting out of the cart. Okay, okay, that's good. That's good. <laughs> You try and try, but and pulling on his chain, but he's he's not in the mood today. Okay, then I'll only bring my fox with me. Um, okay. I mean, you could ride I... the horse around town too. No, no, no! I'll, I'll keep it back there. Riding I, I, can, I, can, I can walk. Um, I feel like I should go to the yarl first. You going to the orphanage? No, yarl? I'm gonna I'm gonna try and go to the orphanage first. Yeah. Okay. Um, so one final rule, I'd like you to make either an investigation or a perception check to try and find the, the orphanage. And okay. while you are doing that, oh, <laughs> what you up to, buddy? You just got kicked out of the room. Abyssal. Uh, yeah, give me a moment. I believe in you. <laughs> Oh. I'm, I'm picking on Quali last because Quali already said that um, they're going to the library. Yeah. Wow. It's okay. <sighs> so, about that devil. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. You can feel it in the back of your mind a little bit right now. Same for you right now, Squeak. You can feel that somebody, somebody doesn't like you and you're not sure who. Yeah. Alright. Oh my god, if it's the perfect. fucking kid, I'm killing you, Billy. If it's the fucking who? <laughs> the <laughs> kid. <laughs> no, if I've already chosen who it is. Okay. You're still gonna want to kill me regardless, but it's not the kid. Oh my god, it's gonna be one of my kids, isn't it? Nope. It's gonna be okay. the king. I swear to all fuck, it's gonna be the king. Okay. Billy being so quiet makes me think it's probably the king. <laughs> so get ready, because you're going to fucking use that. <laughs> yes. What's she up to? Alright, um... Can I go lo locate Beery? Locate Beery? Yeah. If you want to go back to the Dragonborn house. <laughs> I just want to tell her, tell her about the, um... You know, the circumstances. Circum okay. Circumstances? Wait, what circumstances? You know, the, the devil that's, like, seeking out my ruin. Oh! And potential oh. demise. <laughs> Cora doesn't know that. <laughs> okay. You know what's the sad thing? Hmm. What? What's the sad thing? We the players... Have a huge suspicion of it being the king, but I squeak cannot be like, "Hmm, let me check in on the king." So if we find out that it is the king later on in the game, we're gonna be fucked. But you said that if Sagi waits more than that day, consequences will happen for going right. back in time. You can freely use that card within 24 hours, and there'll be no consequences. The further back in time you go and use that card. The more consequences there will be. You should call this is simply a natural nerf, so that way you can't go back and save the save your dungeon, your your battle master, or do something even bigger. That way, it doesn't fuck up the entire campaign's progress so far. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, the you can thing still is, do that. I'll still allow it. It's just there's going to be severe penalties. 
And, and, and sorry, like, yeah, I, I can just call the king. The thing is, I have nothing to justify calling the king right now. Because the only contact that I can, like, the only person I can, like, actually fucking call would be the king. I cannot be, like, going through a phone list of people to call. <laughs> I'd be like, hey, did you hate me? Because well, I pulled yeah, this I know, card. I just call the king, but, like... Anyways, Cora doesn't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing that she does remember in between uh, f uh, passing out and waking up in the thing is she kind of remembers pulling cards, but she thinks that that was a fever dream. Alright, so, Bissell, mm -hmm. you make your way, kind of skipping along a little bit to the Dragonborn home. And you kind of got uncomfortable enough at this point that you don't even bother knocking, you just enter. <laughs> and as you do so, you see Yuri sitting on the couch, chatting with a lizard man. Lizard. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he's, he's pretty tall. <laughs> is he taller than is he taller than me? He's about at the six foot mark, so you're not exactly sure. Ish. Huh. Oh shit. It's okay. Criff is still probably taller. I'm probably. And you are instantly put off by this guy. I am completely just imagining Criff just skipping inside, all happy, about to see Beery as I just stops. Dead and it's actually like, the ex. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Um, Din, oh no, I remember, I remember when um, Danky was doing his wing man manning. Um, Beery said she only went for Dragonborn. This is true. <laughs> yeah, that she only went for Dragonborn. So, Kriv. What are you gonna do? Can I can I just like clear my throat? <laughs> yeah. Make a, a performance check to see how awkward you make it. Oh bet. Let's go. Uh sixteen. You do the perfect <clears throat> <laughs> and Bury darts over her eyes dart over and she's just like crib. Gets up, gives you a big old hug and a very sloppy kiss. Hi, <laughs> hey, <laughs> Barry. I return um, the hug. Riv, <laughs> what are you turning it for? Get, I've got some things to tell you. Mm-hmm. Why don't you sit down over here? All right. No. <laughs> I like open relationships. <laughs> <laughs> so I'd like you to meet Tessith here. And Tessith waves his hand. Nice to meet you, Tessith. Yeah. He's my betrothed. Oh, sh shit. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, it's it's more of a political alliance. But yeah. Don't worry. Most dragonborns believe in open relationships, so Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> and besides I already talked with Tessa, then it was a deal breaker if if he tried to uh kick you out, so I see. My jaw literally dropped. <laughs> so, oh. what do you think, Criff? Oh man, give me a moment. I need to think of what I need to say. <laughs> what I should say. <laughs> huh. If a demonic being ever comes in here... If you say yes, the next night is gonna be extra spicy with another person. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, at that point, the next question would be, 
is crib straight or by? <laughs> true. And true. can that be altered? Huh. All right, guys. Any recommendations? <laughs> 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 Any co any recommendations, Qualia? Squeak. What do you say? What do you mean by recommendations? What do you second. think Crib should do? Do you think? Okay, okay. The question here is: Do you think Crib would would uh follow what she said about Dragonborns being normal with open relationships, or do you think Crib is an uh, a man of tradition? I mean, Dragonborn tradition is open relationships. So. Okay. Yeah, that's why that I said. Or do you think he is not a man of tradition? Uh, my question is: um, Does he kind of care about that right now, or is he more concerned about the threat of the demonic being that you released using? The oh guys? yeah, <laughs> there's I, that. I, I think that I, I, I mean, you could counter and be like, "Yeah, I've got some important news of my own." Hey. Oh, that's perfect. <laughs> oh man it's like a whole different topic than what they were talking about too <laughs> imagine that's a turn off a turn off for her and you just fuck <laughs> it up entirely you, just her, you have a demon <laughs> trying to kill you i have a demon trying to kill me but first it wants to kill <sighs> and to hurt everyone i care about yeah and i kind of care about you so <laughs> So. Wait a fucking minute! What? Holy shit, Billy! What? I just remember what the whole the, the whole fucking thing the card did, and what the devil tries to do, Her and what you just came into. Oh, what do you think I'm up to? Doesn't the devil try to ruin Crips live? But yep. Uh, yeah! Uh, cool. It just hit me! Oh my oh god, no. Billy! <laughs> That's a low blow! Billy, <laughs> don't do this. It just hit me! <laughs> oh my god! Whoop! <laughs> Oh. <laughs> you knew this was gonna put a pencil into a problem. Oh boy! <laughs> oh no! God damn it! The script <sighs> followed traditions. Okay, so <laughs> Barry, I actually came here with some news myself. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, so, um, here's this thing. I may or may not have some powerful devil that may be trying to seek my ruin and ultimate demise. Um. <laughs> this is Billy. Um, you're... Yuri's actually going to roll an insight check. I need to remember what category <laughs> it uses. So, and now she finds you even hotter. <laughs> 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 What's love without a little danger? Insight is wisdom. Yes, wisdom. Okay. Oh, this is convenient. I'll just oh. use this. How horrible is it? <laughs> How bad is it? How bad is it? How bad is it? How bad is it? I mean, it's not a natural one. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> it's the number above that. Oh, a two. Oh, wow. <laughs> they rolled a two and they get a plus one to their wisdom check. So it's a, a three. three. Oh my god, that's a nice <laughs> three right there. Is it going to be a bad reaction or a good reaction, Billy? No, they were rolling insight to see if you're telling the truth and they can't tell oh. jack shit. Oh, oh, oh. 
Okay, I'm gonna have them watch the D20 to see if they believe you or not. They... Oh. Kev, can you just, can you just, like, notch his head uh, at, at the dude? Like, mm, the, de the devil is trying to, trying to fuck up my looks life. looks for a moment, looks you up and down, looks confused, just like... If you wanted to be in a mute, an exclusive relationship, you could have just asked. <laughs> I'd be okay with that if you had just asked, but this demon stuff? Kind of not needed. Beery, be, Beery, I'm telling the whole truth. I'm being serious. As serious as I can be. And right as you finish saying that sentence, you hear in the back of your mind, she's not going to believe you. No, Billy! <laughs> Billy! And then you hear Squick from the background, far away distance. He's telling the truth! <laughs> it, it, it puts you off, because where your own internal voice is the same as yours, this voice is much deeper and slower. Well, that's a fucking powerful <gasps> demon. No! Oh! Oh, that's... <laughs> so! Oh, Billy! Are you telling me you can communicate with me? <laughs> oh! Oh, it's worse than that. Hey! <laughs> Is he fucking living inside of Crib? I didn't say that. Oh no. my Parasite. god! Parasite. Okay, no. so what are you doing? What are you doing? Oh uh, my god! I'm so we'll sorry. We'll talk about this about the demon stuff later. All right. Uh, what do you okay. What do you think of, of Tessa? He's, he he seems uh, like a nice guy. Or I mean, I technically did just, they they just like meet him. <laughs> what was that? I mean, I technically did just, like, just now meet him, so I don't really have an opinion yet. I know, been right. I like that. <laughs> so you're just as open as when I met you. Theory. Theory. <laughs> so Yuri just gently takes your hand and leads you from the sitting couch where you guys were talking in private to the couch that Tessa is sitting on very politely watching the two of you <laughs> at least it's polite <laughs> as you get closer you notice the bumpy scales along his head and his shimmering blue eyes watching you Oh, so he is why? Watching me. <laughs> yep, watching me. <laughs> I'd like you to make a constitution check as you look into his eyes real quick. Are you about to go gay? <laughs> <laughs> um, oh eight. my fucking god. Eight? Okay. Yes. He's the devil. Sweet is right. What? What? <laughs> oh my fucking! You look into his eyes, and you see the same overwhelming evil that you felt in the vision you had the night before. Oh, I don't. He works oh. fast. There's like two ways I want to do this, like. <laughs> Because, like, one, I could either, like, just get Beery to, like, exclusive, or I could just, like, try, you know, try <laughs> bold and to be friend. You never know. They, <laughs> they're, re I hope, is he reasonable? I mean, you can certainly try, but this demon was literally sent here to be your pain and suffering and to, find, and to slowly kill you from the inside out. So... And Kriv becomes a bard and seduces the devil. 
<laughs> Good luck with that. Even a even a bard would have trouble in this situation. Can I seduce the devil? You'd Make have a deal easier with the time devil. seducing the uh, seducing a dragon. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> hold on. Wow. Hold on. If I'm gonna romantically go after anyone, it's gonna be the devil. Not the devil, a devil. Oh. Trust me, crib is not that important yet. Yes. So. I mean, if you guys ever <laughs> manage to get to, to level twenty, you will be that important. So, um, is this devil like super patient? You don't know. All you know is that you found him, and he's in Beery's home, uh... and he's now engaged to Beery. And you also put it together that he might be telepathic. Might, yeah. <laughs> we had a suspicion. Is Nothing it gave it away, telepathic? though. Is hmm? Oh, shit. Is it one way? You're not sure? <laughs> Sorry, I just thought it was... So, like... Can I just... Oh, I don't know if I want... Do you hmm. need some time to decide what to do? No, 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 no. I have a plan, but I don't know if I really want to do that. I do figure I'd ask, because if you need some time to plan, I'd start picking on Soggy. No, no, no. Like, if it's a two-way telepathic, can I just, like, scream really loudly mentally? <laughs> I mean, you can scream really loudly mentally and see what happens. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I mean, no one will know except for probably the devil, so... I mean, if you do it loud enough... Do you enough... want to try that? Yeah. Wait, this okay, is make a performance check to see how loud you can scream mentally. Yeah, if you do it loud and horribly enough, he might 17? have to respond and go... It is top. loud. For a second, you actually see Tessa actually kind of rub his temples for a second before looking at <laughs> you. <laughs> and it is... He looks irritated, but fine. <laughs> All right, nice to know. You know, you should really start asking him some personal questions. <laughs> <laughs> I have his character description up and ready. Bring it on. <laughs> Let's see how will, much wait, wait, he will he has actually to answer them. Rip. What's the Maybe. First time you ever masturbated? <laughs> You're like, soon I'm gonna have to deal with you for a while. When was the first time that you ever masturbated? <laughs> All right. All right. Give me some time. I'm gonna think up some questions. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, Qualia. Research. Having stooped out of your room, met the wolfie. Still trying to process what you're not sure is a dream or what is real from the night before, considering everything that happened. You are heading for the library, right? Yes. Yes. All right. So I need you to make either an investigation or a um uh, uh the hood hood perception to try and find a library if there is one. Investigation. Eight. You are unable to locate a library. You spend an hour trying to find one. Uh, do I see a guard nearby? Yes, you've been seeing guards about every five minutes because there's so because uh, about uh, half the population here is guards. I want to go up to him and be like, uh, "Excuse me." Um, do you know the way to, well, basically the biggest library? Is there a library here? Library? What do we have use for a library here? Ah. Uh. I mean. What, you think we're going to educate our prisoner? No, I thought it would be for, like, the nobles and, like, anyone else who happened to be visiting. Anybody <gasps> of that statue has their own private libraries. Oh, oh my god. God, that Rora, card! Rora just, Rora just goes, I could ask the Jarl. 
Do you appreciate that dig on the American prison system, Phantom? Yes! <laughs> oh my fucking god! <sighs> You're welcome. I mean, uh, I also just want to go, uh, by the way, this is a prison town, but also it still is a town. I know, I'm going right. to talk to uh, a, a friend. Oh, okay, miss. Have a good day. Uh, he goes back to the prisoners he's been watching over. Wait! If there's no library, from where does the girl get her books? No, no. They So anyone who is of money has uh, their, their own, own private library. Yeah. Oh my eat, you can god. Imagine having to... In. Imagine having to, whenever you want to read something new, you have to fucking call people or shit just to get a book from another place. <laughs> Who knows, maybe it. there's enough nobles here that there's a convoy that comes every couple months that deals exclusively in books. They order it that you... would make more sense, they, they yeah. They order their uh, books using their magical orbs. <laughs> <laughs> Amazon? <laughs> Fantasy Amazon, where all your dreams come true. <laughs> so, where is Qualia going now? Um, she is somewhat considering going to the Yarrow, but considering the fact that I have to solve a murder first, uh, she's kind of. They are unsure. Okay. She just, uh, well, just Qualia like, figures does, out what wait, they're. Kara does this little thing of just like walking back to the end, then walking back towards the uh, um, Yarrow's place, just going back and forth, being undecisive. Agility right? check, please. Agility. Can I get that in D and D? Sorry, dexterity. <laughs> Eighteen. <laughs> you are very fast in your town-sized town-sized pacing. I don't know. Should, should, I, should I go try to talk to people? I mean, I don't want to talk to them right now, but also I want to just look into research and that. But uh, if I go to the Yarl, like, she's going to be like, what the heck, man? I'm going to have to be like, I just want to do some research first, but uh, I have to solve murder before I can do that. And that's, she's just doing that as she's walking back and forth. <laughs> Anyways, continue on. I'd like Qualia to roll a d20 for me. Oh god. 19. Okay. Cool. The local pickpockets see you, but they don't even bother trying. I mean, my, I am using my arms as I, like, speak to myself. Like, I'm just doing them around. Like, but if I go there, then... <laughs> I know exactly how you're speaking because I had a customer like that earlier at work. It was scary. <laughs> oh my god. Fear me, we, mortals! We considered calling the police, and we have a policy of avoiding calling them. Anywho, back to D&D. &D. Um, alright, so Qualia is currently pacing the entire freaking town. Abyssal is cur currently coming up with plans for Kriv to ask questions. So we're picking back on our resident Kenku. Uh, I had the roll perception a while ago, and I had gotten a 13. To find the uh, orphanage. Yep. Yes. Oh. It, it takes you about 45 minutes until you enter the southeastern area of the city. It is run down in this area. And oh, close to the center, ne near towards the wall, you find this large abandoned mansion and based on the number of kids running in and out of it you you assume that this is the local equivalent of, of the orphanage um so there's kids running in and out correct yep can i roll perception to see if i find the Kenku in between the kids are outside before I go in? Yep. Uh, that's an 11. There are a few Kenku children here, but not the one you're looking for. 
is not the one you're looking. Okay, so anyways, um, I yes, had in... like two random King Koo children that you do not recognize. I am entirely imagining the little okay, girl okay, is okay. at home sitting on a burnt couch, just there, like everyone is gone. Oh my god. Um, uh, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna head inside the orphanage. Okay. Constitution saving throw, please. Oh, Jesus, right. not bad, huh? Food, I would also like a dexterity saving throw, please. Okay, so the constitution is a 10. That's shit. And dexterity? It's a... That's even shittier. That's an, that's an 11. <laughs> so it's not bad, at least not in comparison to where you found Lionel, but, this, but there is a little bit of a stench, so you do smell cleaner that is trying to counter it, but it's a freaking orphanage. You're not going to be able to counter it all the way, no matter how hard you try. Oh, gosh. Um, but as you enter the front door, you notice a couple of kids giggling as you go through the front door. You open the front door, and the stench from the, the, from the inside stuns you just long enough for a bucket of ice-cold water to just splash you from above. You hear the howling laughter from behind you as the kids run off into the street. Damn, my really God. Ah! Uh, you are soaked. You're just gonna shake. Shake, 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 senora. It okay, is yeah, I'm not just gonna helpful. <laughs> oh, something is something. Um, You are shivering. I pat down the fox. And try to get him as strong as I can with whatever. So you're shivering even harder than you are. Jesus Christ! I'm gonna, I'm gonna put him under my shirt. Between that and the fact it's kind of a cold day out, you might be in trouble here. Oh God! Um... Let me check something real quick. Dive of hypothermia. I'm checking my inventory real quick. I mean, I know a very quick and cheap way to fix this issue if you really want to. Or if you want to do the roleplay way, then... I have a candle. <laughs> no, if, if you want to do this the cheap and easy way because you want to just ignore this small challenge, just light your torch. I... You, have, you have a full-blown torch, everybody does. Do I? It's part of, yeah, it's part of the starting kit. Huh? Uh, well, sorry to say, Billy, but it's not there. <laughs> then it must have accidentally got deleted from your inventory. Feel free to re-add a torch. Or maybe he used it already. Wait! No, 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 no! I have the- Oh, wait, no, that's on the cart. Fuck. What? The ever-burning torch. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Uh, well, okay, let's just say that I do indeed have a torch, I guess. Even yeah. though I, I don't remember what happened to it. <laughs> If you want to do this cheap and easy way and continue on with the, with the today's main story, just light the torch. Or if you want to roleplay, you need to find the fire on your own. No, no, I'll light the torch. Okay, you light the torch and you just hover around it for a few minutes. You are cold, but no longer shivering. Uh, I'm gonna keep walking inside. Okay. Uh... Um... Just to summarize things real quick, I'm just going to have you make another perception check to see... Actually, no. Strike that. Investigation check. Just to search the house. Ooh. Better be a good roll. Ooh, 16. It is, that is a good roll. Because the DC was 5. Okay, just nice. Think, after that, it would just be like, how long does it take you? Okay. Um, Do you search the house... Finding a third Kanku child, but not the one you're looking for. Um, a couple of kids do. You, it they fail your your static perception, passive perception. Sorry, but a couple of kids do try to pickpocket you while you're going through. <laughs> uh. 
I, 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 I'd say I'd shake them off, but like, not like actually shake them, like just fucking shake and keep moving. Uh, very I'm gonna gently, ask, uh, um, move their hand away as they try to get into the pocket. Um, and I turn to them and I ask them where the, what's the name of the, the person in charge? Fuck. Um, they, they both just cock their head to the side like a dog. That doesn't understand. Huh? What's the name of the Squeak. I like Billy? What's the name of the uh, the people in charge of the orphanage? Because I'm not, I'm guessing it's not yeah, nuns it's not. in this. No, well, you, the you guards the come by every, like every day to help clean and feed us, but yeah. we manage ourselves. Jesus Christ! Hey, it's better than the capital city. The capital city doesn't give a shit. At least the guards come by daily to feed them. Okay. I'm gonna ask them, which of you is the leader? Charlie. Do I see Charlie? Do they point at Charlie, or...? He's downstairs. Look for all the books. Oh. Um, I wanna head downstairs. Okay. You head downstairs, and in the living room, you see this um small little elf black hair brown eyes so completely surrounded by books and almost all of them are just covered in equations oh study skip okay you can very quickly tell this kid specializes in math. And if any of you get this reference, I'll be very happy. I don't think I do. <laughs> oh, you get the reference? No, I don't think I do. Mm. Well, if you know you get the reference, that means sometime when you get time, you should watch a show called Numbers. Like one, fifteen, seven. A TV show. Yep. I'll we'll have Charlie to check that Epps. out. It's a it's a crime fighting show. Uh, a mathematician brother you uh, helps his FBI agent brother um, fight crime through math. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, it's nice. Fair warning, the first season is a little rough, but it gets very good very quickly after that. <laughs> okay, I'll check that out. Yeah, like most good shows, its first season is meh. Um, okay, so I want to sit down in front of Charlie. Okay. He's writing an equation right now. Uh, I'm going to lay down one gold coin on his book. He brushes it off. God damn, this kid is really into math. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, I just start chirping. See if, I get, if that gets his attention. It does, because he's not used to chirping. He looks up and just like, you're not a kid. You're not a guard, too. I don't recognize you. I shake my head and I pull out my journal and I write down every how often do the guards come and take care of you? What how much how many rations do they give you? Do they bring any new clothes? Oh, they make sure everybody's got got rations. They do try to clean up when they have the extra time. But the city kind of is focused on their prison population so they don't really have, have the spare manpower to help us directly. I want to know if the, if there's a clean, clean, uh, cleaning crew in the city. I'm going to ask him if he knows if there's any like cleaning crew in the town. I mean... Pick a prison detail. There, there, they can be a clean crew for you. I'm gonna lay down real quick. 
in the piss and shit on the floor. I'm gonna lay down 30 gold coins. His jaw just drops a little, just like... What, do you need me to organize the army of children? <laughs> Squig just starts laughing in a, in a mix of two laughs and and shakes his head and writes down No, um go get yourself the clean the cleaning crew. I hope this is enough for a oh, clean up. And if they never charge us for the cleaning crew, keep your money. Hmm. They never charge for the cleaning crew, so that's why they're such a bad job, I'm guessing. Probably. Take the money. Offer some of it to like your to the cleaning crew and see if it gets a better job done. Right. Go ahead and whatever is left of it, use it on whatever you kids call. need. Ah, uh, thirty. Nope, twenty eight now. Why? You didn't notice the two kids next to you while you were talking. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, twenty eight is enough anyways. I I, I hope it's enough. <laughs> Smart Thank kids. You little buggers. Smart kids. Uh, do I notice that it turns to into twenty eight? So they waited. Do that? I notice that it switches to twenty eight? Uh, inside chat. Inside, inside. Let's see. Jesus Christ! I do not. Okay, I, I'm not <laughs> even gonna. I do not. <laughs> you will notice about an hour from now. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna be proud when that when that hour hits. I'm gonna be proud of those kids. Actually, no. I take that back. The second you exit the small little fence gate of the yard, that's when you're going to notice your pockets are slightly lighter than they used to be. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> okay, um... So I let him down and I ask if you've seen any Cancun. I try to give my best description I can of the Cancun I'm looking for. You giving that to Charlie? Uh, to Charlie, yeah, I'm going to try yeah. and ask him if he's uh, he seen it. We haven't gotten any new kids to the orphanage lately. Hmm. Uh, Squeak gets up, uh, gives Charlie a little pat on the head, and says, thank you. Thank you for visiting. And walks right outside. Uh, damn, As not in the orphanage. It's like, hey, do you have any plans for that journal? I shake my head and I give him the journal. Sweet, and he immediately starts writing um, equations on it. Uh, I also give him uh, one ink bottle since I have to. Cool. His eyes just glitter with sheer awesomeness of being able to do all the math he wants again. <laughs> Before I head out of the room, I, say, I try and say it the best possible way. Ah, uh, share with kids. Share with kids? Yes, because I cannot say. I, I, I'm i no, trying I to just, boot up together the least. I was silly making sure since I didn't hear you. Oh, no, yeah, no. Share with kids. Okay, yeah. He just nods just like I always do. I give a smile and I head out. Okay. And um, right as you exit the fence, you've noticed that your pockets are a little lighter. Don't. Yeah. I'm not gonna do a quick recount. I'm just gonna notice that, that, that it's. Yep. <laughs> I'm not gonna do a recount. Based on the <laughs> pile that you put into a temporary pouch, that the 30 pile has become 28. <laughs> <laughs> I just chuckle and say under my breath, smart kids, and, <laughs> and walk off to try and find the goddamn Kenku. <laughs> As you turn to do that, you look to the right and you notice a uh, uh, a dragonborn kid looking at you from the porch, and on his eyes are the two pieces of gold just looking at you. Like he's... <laughs> I give the kid a thumbs up. <laughs> Somehow he can still see you because he also does a thumbs up. 
<laughs> oh my god, that's the best kid ever. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna grow to be a good rogue. Okay, so anyway. <laughs> How do you know he's not already a level 10 rogue? <laughs> Squeak is a threat. Oh my god! I'm gonna have to up my game. <laughs> Yellow's still level four. Right? Okay, okay. Gonna... So for the record, I did six stealth rolls to see if any if any of the kids did it. Only the dragonborn kid passed, and he got a natural twenty. <gasps> oh my god, that kid is amazing. <laughs> So I was just like, screw it, I'm gonna let him fuck the squeak a little. Oh my god! Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and search for, for the kid then. Um, I guess my first place of to search after the orphanage would be the house of the Kenku that was burned down. Okay. If there's still guards around there. Alrighty, so while you're traveling there, hey, Kriv, buddy, chum, old pal, <sighs> while you're facing down a literal nightmare. Yeah. I... For the record, I've had <laughs> my mind just turning up a blank. <laughs> <the third time. sighs> Man. Because I was half expecting Kriv to try to kill him. <laughs> In front of very. <laughs> I mean, I mean, <laughs> if you do manage to kill him, I think the spell will be broken. Yeah. Yeah, uh... it's in the description. So. I mean, the, other... the thing is, isn't the devil like a bunch of levels above us? A hey, devil, but yeah. It doesn't specify that. Oh. oh. It says Wait. So you're telling me the devil? devil... Yeah. It and it's not a devil; it's a demon. Oh, so the demon could basically be like one or two levels above us. Yep. Okay, okay, okay. It could even be equal level. You just don't know. Ah, okay, okay. So if we all gang up on him, we might. We could probably (laughs) no. At least at least we would be able to like test his strength, if anything. Ah, but if we find him weak enough, we can fucking just murder him. You know, decapitate him the the squeak way. (laughs) (laughs) We'll never know. Um, good luck. Thanks. <laughs> uh. Also, a little side note, you n- you notice that the currents are drawn right now, Kriv, so it's darker in here than normal. Oh, shit. It's a secret meeting. The meeting of Elrond. What? Um. What does that feel like? He could fool her, but not fool anyone else, and that's why. Okay, so, Kriv, what are you doing? Um, you know, just because he said it was the curtains were... Can I open the curtains? As you go to open a curtain, Beery gently puts her hand on yours, just like... That'd be rude. He's a little sensitive to light. He is? Oh, I didn't know. <laughs> I'm yeah, sorry. He's, he's had that <gasps> since he was a little kid. <laughs> I see. I'll make note of that. Thank you for telling me, Barry. No. Pulls them open like a f- <laughs> <laughs> Just imagine, like, uh, like, oh, okay, okay, thanks. <laughs> Fucking <laughs> smashes them open. <laughs> <laughs> Billy, Billy, how many how many windows are in the area? Six. All right. So, can I just open the ones where it won't shine light on him? They would all shine light on a thing. Oh, it's a fitting well. Okay. So oh, there goes my. I mean, okay. You can test out what happens. <laughs> With like only a little bit? Mm. 
whose microphone was that? That was perfect. It sounded like fire. <laughs> I didn't hear it, so I guess it was me. Oh, probably. It could also have been Peter. Oh, it true, I keep forgetting Peter's. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because he's, he's, he's got the town background going right now for you guys. I'm listening to the town background and I forgot that Peter was in the car. <laughs> Alright, Billy. Did, did someone just stop Peter? No. <laughs> Peter just, just stopped stop like this. He stopped. Oh, no, the video was only one hour long. It literally, that just ended. <gasps> We've been <laughs> doing for an hour perfect already? timing. Yeah, no, it literally was. It Everything was goes quiet and the crew <laughs> just goes and opens the blinds. <laughs> <laughs> Suspense. <laughs> Alright, so, Billy. Mm -hmm. Is Tethys, Tethys still staring at me? Yes. The whole time? Yes. One hour, one minute. <laughs> so, Tethys. He squints at you. If you keep staring at me like that, I might just think you're into me. <laughs> Ow, my hand! What languages do you speak? Um, Great. Abyssal, Draconic, Common, and Infernal. Perfect. He speaks <laughs> to you in Abyssal. I just don't trust you. How do you around my beery? You're. You're a beery, huh? We we've, we've been betrothed since we were little kids. You're the new one here. Yuri seems to squirm at that a little, like she's uncomfortable with the idea. Now why can't she be our Beery? Wait, so she also speaks Abyssal? Hmm. So she also speaks yes, Abyssal. Yes, everybody in this room speaks Abyssal. Okay. Wait, does he know that? What? Does he know that? Does who know that? Tessie. The one that guess so, the considering uh, Kriv responded in a in a vessel, I imagine. <laughs> yeah, but the thing I thought he was trying to say that to keep very Terry outside of this. Like for her not to listen to what they were gonna. No, he understands speak abyssal. Okay then. Um. So he's stupid. Anyways. Can he speak <laughs> common? Everyone I can mean, speak you common. You can switch to common and see what happens. Why would he start speaking abyssal? Mm. You hear a voice in the back of your head because I don't speak common. Oh. There oh. It goes. Uh, <laughs> Oh, scratch what he said. Not everyone speaks common. <laughs> so, can he hear my thoughts as well? Like, even if I'm not trying to like project them. I mean, if you're, if you, as long as you're not actively hiding your thoughts, he probably can hear you. Ah, uh, ha, ha. So I'm going to assume for the for the sake of your own character. The second they figured out that it was a telepathic demon, they've been shielding themselves. All right. So he can only really use his telepathy when you're speaking. Because in order to speak out loud, it requires enough direct thought that you can't shield that thought. Oh. Hmm. Do you need more time to the, before you decide what to do, Abyssal? <sighs> Man. If only I hadn't pulled that card. <laughs> <laughs> easy come, easy go. I mean, some of you gain levels, some of you gain wondrous items, some of you gain a literal keep. <laughs> oh. Wow. 
the luck is just on so my side. So how about the card that was um opened by uh pulled out by Smokey? It was actually pulled out by uh Squeak. <laughs> you wish. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. Should I say? Do you need time to think about it? I mean, if I could have some suggestions. All right, squeak, koala, input. Start speaking <laughs> random ass languages that he doesn't understand, like French. <laughs> no, I don't think there's French in this world. Really. And uh, Crib would be limited to the languages that they are fluent in. What languages can you speak again? Abyssal, Common, Infernal, and Draconic. You can try and speak Infernal and see if he understands, because then you can keep your conversation private with him. Hmm. Because we know he he speaks Abyssal, and he doesn't speak Common. But he might know other languages, so one never knows. Can I ask him if he only speaks Abyssal? Uh, one second. Mm -hmm. You're going to do it directly, or are you going to do it through your mind? I swear I am the only one. Wait, wait. Um, did he, did he tell me he only speaks abyssal in my mind? Oh uh, no, he told you through your mind that he speaks uh, that he doesn't speak common. All right, so I'll just respond telepathy, telepathy. I don't know. So you're then, gonna yeah. try and speak infernal or draconic? I'm just gonna no. I'm just gonna ask him in abyssal if he only speaks abyssal. Um, he just looks at you just like I'm not gonna reveal what I speak. Why? It's not going to do any you. harm to you. But it's not going to do any harm. Beery just <clears throat> gently puts her hand on your thigh and she's like, let's move on from this topic. Right. Oh, did you say that right in, in, in Abyssal? Or did you say it in Inferno? <laughs> I thought you said it in Abyssal. <laughs> <laughs> this is Billy speaking. Yeah, he's smoking a whistle. Yeah. <laughs> the only way for you to have a private conversation is by taking him away or fucking talking in your mind. Wait, yep. he said he can't speak common. Yep. Yeah, he cannot. So can he? But can he understand common? When you speak it out loud, yes, because it was te telepathy. Hmm. He can understand the meaning of your words, and it tra and those get translated into a language he understands. Ah, oh, but what if it's a difficult world? Word, I mean, not world. What the hell? <laughs> what? What if it's a difficult, uh, difficult to translate word? A word with different like meanings. Like finding one of those. Yes. Like especially since so he's telepathic, which mm -hmm. is even better. Oh, yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. I see. I okay, okay. Know All right, we're going to take a small little five minute break here because I need to go to the restroom. So I'll be back. Mm hmm. Yeah. Okay, so loopholes. Let's talk about <laughs> loopholes. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take a stroll around town, get to know each other, yeah? <laughs> I am very sorry, but you're going to have to convince Cora that that actually happened. Cora does not believe that anything of that stuff happened. The thing is, when I said the, the when I think it was, I think it was Cora, the one that mentioned the king, Billy went immediately quiet. Oh, yes. <laughs> so... So I'm like almost a hundred percent sure the king is the one that hates me, and if the, if it is the king, then we are like completely fucked. 
That's Technically, just, it's just you. I either need to... No, because the <laughs> only one that has connection to the king is me. Oh, yeah. So I, I Oh, yeah. Different. So my choices are save uh, our group from being hurt by the king or save Abyssal's life from being turned to ruin. No, but the thing is, Billy said that the demon could be our level. Could be. We... We don't know the level of the demon. You don't know. So, like I said, we can try and fight the devil in a group. Hold on, hold on. Here's the other thing. If Beardy catches uh, Kriv doing it, or catches one of us that she knows is with Kriv, then she would know that we're killing her love, uh, or her her betrothed. Soggy, Soggy. Once we kill him... She will remember what actually happened. Will she though? Will he? He actually? yes. No, because I I I asked Billy and Billy said yes. That's what the card says. Everything will be undone if he's killed. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Okay, so okay. if we manage to kill him, she will realize that oh shit, I was deceived. My fucking brain was mentally played. So, so what if you just undo the moment where we picked our cards? I th- that's okay. That's like, a good question. What if we can like make it so everyone doesn't pull out the cards? Like back to the first person who pulled a card. Hi. Yeah. That was me. Well, well, not so, the oh. first person. Ah, uh, not the first person. Um, the second person would be because the second because the first person was um. Following my lead. Was half. Mm. Well, yeah, no, that's what I mean. Like the first person within that like, group there, like. It would have been me. I was the like first person out of the group of us that wasn't half. Like, I was the first one to open it up. No, but that was like, no, 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 no. Out of no, you, me, like, and Chris, it was me that went. Uh, that was. Like, yes, you were the second person to open the cards. No, but I'm talking about the three of us, not half. No, yeah, no, I but that doesn't matter. You? That doesn't matter because what I'm talking is Huff told us to not open the cards, but we anyways did it. Yes, but what I'm trying to say is so if we can go back to that moment and Sagi and Kora goes like, "Hey, listen to him," then we all will fucking stop from doing it, or maybe re-pull them. It's not going into the past. It is. It's changing something in the past. No. So what it is? I thought it was just like erasing a moment from. It makes it so that that moment does not happen. So basically, we have our brains deleted out of that moment. Yeah, basically. Uh, so essentially, half would come to us, tell us do not take out the cards, and boom, that's all we'll remember, and then it's a fucking time skip uh, to okay. what happened next. Well, like, here's the thing. We... It's 24 hours. The 24 hours have not ended. Yeah. Just so you know. The other thing, I don't want to lose my extra two in the dictionary. Honestly, it's better to lose those than to have the king hate us and have a demon hunting down a criff. I think we should Mm -hmm. just kill the demon and then I'll use my card to undo you picking your card. But the demon You can uh, So like is the demon But the, <sighs> like hold on, here's the, the thing. We would probably get the a demon lot is not trying to kill you, the demon is only trying to no, make no, your life miserable. No, no, it is Do you guys remember that meme of a guy walking in and everything's dead. on fire? Oh yeah. Yes, <laughs> I know because I've seen that series. So Billy Is it make yes. everyone? How does the car that Cora pulled work? Does she go back in time or does she just like erase that memory and that event? No, she sure just erases that event from the timeline itself. Okay, so essentially if we were to erase that event, would it be like a little time skip from when Huff told us not to open it? Then we don't remember jack shit of what happened during that moment and then we come back to what happened next to that moment? No, but we stay, didn't pull out the cards. In the time where you are, and literally all the events that have happened since that moment, either if it is affected by that erasure, get changed. Okay, 
Okay, I know how it like works. Like, if now. Qualia okay. used her card right now to erase Kriv's attempt to draw that card, Kriv would then draw a new card, and we would have this whole new effect. So, the demon straight up would just disappear. Okay, huh. now, second question. If Kora were to delete a moment, could it be the moment where all of us open the cards? Or does Kora have to choose... Which of us does not pull the cards? I mean, wasn't it relatively close enough time yeah, that it we was, opened them? Yeah, it was literally Soggy pulled them out, and then after that, you pulled them out, and then after that, I pulled them out. It was There was no space in between. I'd have Qualia roll a D100 to see how, uh, and make it a bit of luck-based, if they could mm -hmm. or not. I'd say 20 or below. And it'll be good, or 20 and below will be bad? 20 and below, you'd be able to erase all the cards, and everybody would redraw. So for Because you redraw it at the, relatively the same time. 20 and above, 20 to 60, you can, er you can erase two draws. I want that one. And, I want to then, erase both of their draws, but not my own. It would It, it would be up to the dice. And then 60 or above, you just straight up can only erase one card. We have not gone through 24 hours yet. So, Kurara, the question now is, would you like to do this now? What was the numbers? 20 or below, you can erase all three cards. Okay. 20 to 60, you may erase two cards of your choice. 60 or above, you're limited to just one card. Hmm. That did not happen. There was a self roll, so that did not happen. Okay, shut up. Essentially, you won bat luck. Uh, no, I want to get, uh... Well, me. if it's 60 or... Since it sounds like you only want to delete two cards... Yeah. Getting 60 or below will do it. 60 or below? Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, because the 20 would... 20 to 0 would include that, so you don't have to erase all three. Hmm. Oh. Well, it's up to Korora to make that choice. If you want to erase two I cards, wanted... you can pick which uh, you actually both roll. Squeaks and abyssals are re-rolled. Let's go. Ah, uh, holy go. what? Kaboosh! A <laughs> giant wave of energy just emanates from Qualia before any of you have the chance to even think. Abyssal. Uh, Qual, you're the only one who notices any changes, by the way. So from your perspective, nothing changed, just the giant flash light. Abyssal, you're currently in bed. Where? With her? With Barry. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. And where am I? Am I still looking for the kid? Yes. Nothing okay, so you what? Sweet. You're so just what? not on edge as much now. Okay, so the question now is, what happens to the cards that were not pulled? What are their new cards? Do does it work like we have to like re-pull them out? Um, or do they just yeah? I'm gonna stay say in that our I'm, pocket. I'm gonna I'm gonna draw for both of you right now. Okay. 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 <laughs> so essentially. We erased the fact that we got that card. Yep. But not the fact so, that we pulled Who from wants the... to go first? Squeak or Abyssal? I'll go first. <laughs> Damn, okay, that okay. was fast. <laughs> Center, left, or right? Uh, 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 go hmm. left. I don't know left or right. Just go left. It worked for me. <laughs> My God. It worked for me. Alright, I'm gonna steal some... Like, maybe Quaria will, like, and transfer her energy. luck to yeah. me. Here, <laughs> take <laughs> <laughs> <Guy's alive. laughs> <laughs> What's your alignment? Um, neutral. True neutral. Or I mean, that's what it says. You are true neutral. What? Huh? Yeah. I thought you okay. Been, like so, 
in that moment, the previous night, you pulled a card and for a second you saw a balance anvil and then it just erupts in your hand in a puff of tiny smoke and that's it. Huh. Nothing happened. You would have been put what? true neutral. You draw oh. the balance card. Your mind suffers a wrenching altercation causing your alignment to change. Lawful becomes chaotic, good becomes evil, and vice versa. If you are true neutral or unaligned, this card has no effect on you. Oh, nice. Yay, that, that's actually go. a good card. So, <laughs> jack crud happens to you. Nothing good, nothing Ooh. bad. That is way better than what happened before. Yup. Isn't okay. that great? <laughs> so, squeak, left, right, or center. I'll go right. You're not gonna have my luck? I hope I'm right. <laughs> You're not gonna have my luck? I hope I'm right. Squeak. You're not gonna have my luck anymore. No! If it's not the again. same card, Billy. No, Billy, no, 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 no. You drawed good, but I'm fucked. Oh. As a DM. Did he get the same one that Dinky rolled? No. Oh. He got the same one. Uh, he, he got the same one that Driaz rolled. Oh shit, I gotta keep, I baby! Gonna another keep? <laughs> I'm gonna give it to my kids! I'm gonna tell my kids I got them a house! <laughs> <laughs> you didn't get them a house, you got them a small city! <laughs> Yo, kids, bring over your gonna... girlfriends! <laughs> <sighs> Let me pull the map, mother... Gonna bring Wait, out my whole this family. Same freaking country, I'm freaking good. <laughs> so what? What else is the uh, card? Uh, what is everything the card does? You pretty me freaking tempted to just shove the freaking. <laughs> now I can have real. Nothing's now I can shoving your freaking keep in the middle of orc territory. I'm gonna ask the king to make me a jarl now. <laughs> Who says it's in this country? Fuck you. You don't need it that much? Billy! You don't need two keeps, what the fuck? Yes, no, Driss has his own, and then I have mine. Exactly! <laughs> but if I'm gonna be fair, I need to put your keep in an equally useful spot in comparison to the other keep. <laughs> or you could be chaotic like me and just... I'm trying to find the other map, but uh, I think you un- You can always it. look for an equally so, uh, level card and just fucking do that one. Yeah. And you don't want cards to be repeated. I already have three ideas for a location. One would make me a very nice and good DM. One would make me an evil DM. Be the very and nice one and good would make me a true what the fuck DM. <laughs> Uh, where even is the picture of uh the map with uh the it got deleted because of three reasons. Yeah. You, I, there was stuff on that map you weren't supposed to see, so well, it got deleted. Oh, I didn't even, yeah. I didn't even notice to be honest. Good, because I accidentally sent you guys the DM version of the map. Oh, ah, okay, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> Which had information you weren't supposed to have. So that's why it got deleted. Yes. No. The second I realized that, I deleted it. Without telling us. Okay, so I'll let you choose. Do you want evil DM? Do you want good DM? Or do you want what the fuck DM? By what the fuck DM? What do you mean <laughs> by what the fuck DM? I'm not gonna tell you. You have to pick one. Like, no, like, no, 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 not like tell me the location. Like, like, explain why what the fuck. That's exactly why. It's like, why? What the fuck would you do that? Oh my god, I'm guessing it's just like placed in a stupid area. Um, just do good. Yeah, I'll just do good because if well, even if it's gonna be board, funny, the evil one, it would be on the orc side of the elven cross. Not a good I spot. I don't even know where that is. Um, it it's in the elven kingdoms. You haven't seen a map for that yet. And okay, what the fuck okay. spot would be a hundred feet to the right of Driaz's keep? <laughs> right next to each other. Hey, yo, how are you doing? Neighbors. <laughs> you guys 
could combine your keeps and make a <laughs> your own city. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. So your keep, it's not going to be in the human kingdom. It's actually going to be in the nation of Zagalia, down to the south. Uh, I'm actually, I would imagine most of the party hails from that nation, and I believe you do too. Do I? Yes, you do. Okay, cool. I don't know if I do or not. We haven't talked about this. I think we did a very long time ago. Yeah. Nope. We actually never talked about it. <laughs> but most of the party actually hails from Zagalia for some reason. Look, as long as we don't go back there, I, it's all good. Yep. And I also now put the keep at a trifold between three cities, so it's in a very useful spot. Okay, but that's a problem. Oh. You said we're going to have to go over there. Yep. I don't want that's to. like a two month journey by boat. I really don't want oh, to. Oh, that's fun. I should have probably picked the what the fuck, really. <laughs> yeah, that would have been the best. I feel like the what the fuck, Bolly, was the good Billy. <laughs> you no, know, it's still in a useful spot as well. Because so, now, if you ever go to the Elven Kingdoms, you have another keep, and it's also in a useful spot. So that's the other thing. If you if you guys are right next to each other and you guys combine into a city, you guys could at the very center have a giant stone statue of you guys having like your arm on his shoulder and his arm on your shoulder. You guys are both holding up like chalices in the air, like big old statues of you guys being all happy. Like good luck having enough money to commission an artist for that. <laughs> I can do it myself. <laughs> like I said. Good luck commissioning an artist. <laughs> oh, damn, you don't believe in Squeak, huh? I'm saying you need a high-level artist for this, and you're a level 4. <laughs> By the time I start building that, I'm not going to be a level 4. <laughs> yeah, you need, like, a level 14 artist. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So, now that we have re-rolled... But not... Okay, so... That happened also. Go ahead and increase your proficiency level in the persuasion skill by one. Bruh. Everyone getting gains? Yo. Now I can get <laughs> down with the Kitsune? Wait, what? <laughs> you also double your proficiency bonus with checks made to persuasion skills. Wait, persuasion wait a second, skill. wait a second, wait a second. I override what exactly in the persuasion? Okay, so you know how there's the little dots next to each one that indicate if you have proficiency in something? Um... Wait, you said persuasion, correct? Correct. There's a dot next to persuasion. Yeah, I'm opening yours up right now to take a look to help you. I am not proficient in persuasion. Nope, you are not. You have no not proficient. So if you click on that little dot, you'll see there's a customized thing. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and go to the skill proficiency level and override it from um, from not proficient. Skip half proficient, go straight to proficient. Okay. Okay. And you also need to remember whenever you use the persuasion skill, you also double your um, it your proficiency bonus. I have a question. Yeah? Did I have to keep up with that every time I roll something I'm proficient on? Uh, yep. Um, I never did that. So I probably um fucked up a lot of rolls. I actually <laughs> Well, no, you just got it now. So you wouldn't have no, been adding your proficiency no, to No, but I am proficient on a lot of stuff. And it's I never did that. Adding it. I, I don't, wow, what? I had to learn how this works. Yeah, D&D &D Beyond's been adding it for you. You're fine. How the The only hell? reason you're having to do it manually now is because we're overriding it. Okay, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. So when I roll... You know, it's oh, wait, the, 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 just the, to override the, the, it and put it to proficient. Well, just no, it. yeah, that's already powerful enough. That way, you don't have to worry about it. Let me refresh my page real quick. 
Now, just out of curiosity, I'm going to shuffle and just draw my own deck of many things card just to see what happens if I drew one. That's going to be fun. Ow. Ow. <laughs> I'm dumb now. I'm going to draw again. Okay, I'm going to stop drawing. Ow. What were you drawing? First card, I lost 10,000 experience, so I would be dumb. <laughs> card, I got, I, I got Cribs card. Ah, yeah, let's go! <laughs> Wait, why are you drawing cards? Just to see what would happen if Billy drew one. <laughs> Look, okay, here, here's the thing to learning how you get luck in drawing cards. First, you need to be me or have my luck that I'm providing to you. And then you need to choose left. That is the secret. <laughs> Soon your luck will run out. Okay, you know what, for the fun of it, can I get your luck, please? Alright, let me just... <laughs> Left. <laughs> right, and then I'm gonna pick See? left. Meh. I got the balance card, so nothing happens to me. <laughs> See? I don't know. I take that back because I kind of consider myself a lawful one, so I'm now chaotic. Okay, but I get to be evil now. Chaotic <laughs> Billy. Uh, <laughs> I can screw you guys all. Squeak. I'm gonna kill you. Said I'm like, guessing if I'm proficient, like, it should add plus two to it. Uh, Correct. Uh, like. If I gave you your luck, then that means that you no longer got bad. You're lucky to not get bad. That's my luck in action. There you go. Okay. You just alter it so it's good now. You've got everything correct, Squeak. It automatically added it to it. I, I I'm still fucking confused. Okay, so the provision uh, you got it. You you it set up. It doesn't done. change anything really. Okay, let me go back to your thing. Because it was four before, and it's still four now, so it's not really changing anything. Here, exit your your sheet real quick. Okay. Don't worry. Billy's got this. <laughs> I was going to say Uncle Billy, but that would have been uncomfortable. The guards match uh, Marsha and Sink is one of and Sink is one of the best things in this whole sound. My ears are very pointy. I'm noticing because I'm looking at my profile picture. And this is it. Sweet, do you like how pointy my ears are? What? Look how pointy my ears are. My profile picture in this server. Look how pointy my <laughs> ears are. They used as knives. Did you also mess with the oh. skill override? Nope. It's on four. I didn't always been on four. Why is it on four? I think you messed. That's up. how it was from the start. If you check, I think if you check every single um, non-proficient thing, it will say the plus and how much it actually is giving on the skill. Which is probably what damages when you do the proficiency thing. Uh... Bill, I guess I'm so confused. Like, uh... <laughs> yeah. <Damn. laughs> this is the second time Squeak has problems on his character sheet. So, you were actually supposed to have been getting a plus two to your rolls this entire time, not a plus four. It's always been plus four, though. In some For some reason, your skill ship was override. It's not supposed to be that way. Can you so check the others? Your character sheet and overrid it. Can you check the others? Um...
everything looks normal because your your pluses are supposed to be just your base stats plus your mm -hmm. plus if you have proficiency then it adds that that's why you have a plus six to acrobatics you have four in your dexterity and two from your proficiency check check so animal handling real quick normal. animal handling because uh, i think i'm not proficient in that one no you're not proficient so you only have the plus two from your wisdom and it says two on the skill over right right there is no it, it's supposed to be blank yeah, you leave skill override blank. You're only supposed to use it if you're overriding the skill for some reason, but I don't remember authorizing you to do that. I'm not I've never you, done it. Like... I literally didn't even know about that until you told me. <laughs> I'm still new to the NDB John. I wonder why that happened. But anyway, yeah, you're supposed to have been rolling a plus two this entire time, so it's actually not changing for you because... It stays on four then. Yeah. Okay, good. It's still technically a buff because... You know what? Just we're we're moving on. Skill shit happens. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So um, you're going to the Yarl, right? Um, sweet. No, I think that was Cora. Uh, I was going to the house of the Kankus. Okay. So while you're traveling there, I'm gonna pick on Squeak real quick. Or I'm gonna pick on Qualia. Okay, so Qualia, you just finished using the card while you were mid walk. Oh, do I remember that? Like, do I remember yeah. what they, like everything was before? Yes, you are the only one who does. So I remember everything before and everything after. Like I remember what it was before and what it is now, basically. Yes. I wonder if that worked. Well, I mean, I, I, I know that it worked. I mean, it probably, whatever. Uh, should I go? You know what? You should go interrogate the person that Hoff did, that Hoff caught, and then I should go and then ask if I can go borrow her library. Cause then I would be being productive and would be like, hey, can I like borrow that real quick? Like, I would have a reason. You know what? Yeah, that's what I'm going to go do. And I go start going over to the Arl's place to go ask to see the prisoner that uh, Hoff caught. Okay. And I assume Kriv is staying where they are? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> um... Da, 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 da. Good to know. <laughs> anyway. Alright, moving on swiftly. So, while Qualia is hanging, uh, heading to the Yarl and Squeak is heading to... to... Well, not really the Yarl, more to like the prison where the per prisoner Dinky, or Hoff caught. Yeah, that would still be in the castle because it's a high-value prisoner. Oh, I gotcha. So, you're heading to the castle. Yeah. Okay. Um so you get to the castle and inform the guards that you're here to interrogate the Tabaxi prisoner. Uh, howdy hey, my name's Ira, and today I woke up in a pile of hay. Did you, did your character actually say that yes. out loud? They both just look at you and just like I just wanted to rhyme. I thought it would be fun. Uh, then I can. Are you sure you're up for this? We no, have no, our no. own that's interrogators. No, no, that's how I greet them at the very beginning. Right, and they are immediately concerned about you now. Oh, I say I just wanted to. Uh, I just wanted to rhyme. I thought it would be fun. Okay. Anyways, um, yeah, I'm here to interrogate the tabaxi prisoner my friend Toff uh, brought in yesterday, or Times Square. Okay. Yeah. 
he's already downstairs a bit about to begin the interrogation. All right, thank you. I head on down. All right. All right. And while you do that, because Hoff isn't here and this is a critical event, we are going to end the episode early there. Sorry, I know it's shorter than usual. But I do have some good news in turn. Oh. The potential stalling of the cave crawlers has been stalled. By a week, we will have a session next week. Woo! Because <laughs> Jury gave me a notice today, and they're just like, Cool! We're stalling you by a week again. Right. Oh my god. <laughs> One more week. And that, that's where we're going to end it tonight. Please, have a great day, day, you fuckers, and I hope you guys have a good time. I don't know words. Bye!